Hey, it's Ray McNamara. My friend Eric Berg, who plays saxophone in Big Mean Sound Machine, has asked me to build him an effects loop and kill switch because he's started to experiment with pedals. That's what we're going to do today. Here we go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is put some holes in this sweet-ass box. I got the components with me so that when I'm done drilling the holes, you can sort of jam them in the holes, make sure, uh, oh, you got to clean up after yourself. You know, you don't want to leave a mess for your roommates. So now we're just going to get all the components in the holes that we drilled. Wow, I'm, do I'm so fast. How do I do it that fast? Wow. Yeah, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? All right, and now uh, this is me cutting a bunch of lengths of wire and just putting a little solder on the end of them. We call it tinning. It takes forever. Okay, so now I'm going to solder on these little resistors onto the negative side of these LEDs. And you can tell which side the negative side is because the positive side is a little bit longer than the negative side, right? Just use some kind of resistor between 1K and 4K uh, so that you don't burn out the LED. Something like that. And we're off. Wow, look at those fumes. Those are great to breathe. They're good for your brain. Uh, just kidding, obviously don't breathe those. I'm gonna put a little electrical tape on those resistors. It's best to preempt the fuckery. It's pretty fuckery proof. Huh? Once that's all connected, just glue those LEDs in place and you should see some life come out of them. Aw, oh, yeah, son! Now you want to wire all of the sleeves of the jacks together. Uh, the sleeves are the non-sticky, uh, outy bit. It's the inside bit. So, we got two 3PDT switches here. The left one is going to be our effects loop, and the right one is going to be our kill switch. And I'm starting with the LEDs, because obviously the little blinking lights that don't do anything are the most important part. So I'm going to take the 9 volt uh, negative terminal. It's going to go up through here. And that resistor there is, I'm using a 4K7. And you don't have to use a 4K7. In fact, you should probably use a lower uh, resistance, because the light it was a little dim. Just something between 1K and 5K. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other switch, uh, just for indicator lights. Okay, so now we're going to wire the input jack to the center lug of the effects loop switch. And out of this top thing, we're going to send it to the effects loop out. And then the effects loop return is going to go to this top right corner guy. And then when the switch is engaged on, it'll go in here, out here, around there, and then out of this lug here. And we're going to connect it to the kill switch so that when the kill switch is on, it'll go right to the output jack, right? Oh, and uh, I almost forgot. This jumper cable, ooh, which is I'm just noticing now is in the wrong spot. We're going to erase that. The jumper cable should go between this lug and that lug so that when it's off, the input... We'll go through here, down there, swoop, straight out, and that means it won't be affected by the effects loop at all. And I think I'm done. Now all you got to do is figure out uh, what you did wrong, which is always the last step. <laughs> now we test it. Got my synth patched in to make bleepy bloopy sounds right here. And then here's my speakers. So if the kill switch is engaged, this should start making bloops. Oh yeah, sing. Yeah. Awesome. So now that the effects loop is engaged, I should be seeing signal out of here. Let's find out. Oh yeah. All right. Now we get signal out of here and back into here. Should come out of there. Let's see. It's a little cockeyed. This one's a little, it's a little higher than that one. Just a little, you know, <laughs> it works. This could be the very first time that I got a project right on the first try. Very possible. Very. Sent it over to my guy Berg, and uh, here it is in the wild.
Like and subscribe, you 